But we start at Anfield. Not many people saw this coming. Liverpool have lost at home to Crystal Palace. 1-0 the final score. And Clinton Morrison watched this one for us. Clinton, I can't quite... You don't know what to make of the fact that we, nobody would have thought that Liverpool would lose that game. No, no, definitely not. Especially the form Palace have been on. And I know Liverpool have uh, had a bad week, but, yeah, this is a terrible week now. Uh, losing to Atlanta and obviously getting a draw against um, Man United. But, no, this is disappointing for Liverpool. But if you had asked before the game if Palace would have took a point, most definitely the form they've been in and going to Anfield, which is a hard place to go and play football, but what a performance from Palace. I thought they were outstanding to a man from Dean Henderson right up to Mateta and to all the subs that came on. A fantastic result. How, how frustrating will it be for Jurgen Klopp? Because <laughs> they would have gone top of the table. They're, they are only two points behind Manchester City, but, of course, if, if Arsenal win yeah. later, that, that, that sees them fall further behind. Will they feel like this is their title race over? No, no, it's not. The title race ain't over because... Man City and Arsenal could drop points. There's still a long way to go, but they'll be disappointed because, as I said, it's been a, a bad, bad week for them, a terrible week um, for Liverpool. They won't be happy, and you can see the pictures of there of um, Jurgen Klopp and Andy Robertson. They're, they're devastated. They know how much of they needed a response after a difficult week that they've had, but they have to keep going, they have to keep believing, but they did miss some glorious chances. On another day, Liverpool would go on and win that game, but, as I said, Palace rode their luck, but in the first half, I thought Palace were the better team. Second half, you always know, knew the onslaught was going to come from Liverpool and they defended in their numbers, Palace. But, as I say, Liverpool have to go again because the title race ain't over now. And, I tell you what, let's, let's bring Michael Brown in. I know you're watching a different game, Michael, but from a Manchester City point of view, and you used to play there, of course, I mean, how will they be feeling now after getting that win yesterday and seeing this shock today? Well, I think they'll be... But ultimately, they've done their job. That was what was important for Pep Guardiola. Obviously, a big week of football all around in the European competitions as well. So, that loading, how do you manage the situations? Obviously, Arsenal and Manchester City got positive results. Liverpool didn't. This is a really big loss at Anfield. And now I'm sure that they'll be looking and thinking, right, that's one down. You know, we've got a little bit to go. I don't think they'll be complacent at any point. I think that's what uh, Pep Guardiola demands. That's what he's got within that squad. They're so professional all of the time and they understand that it's never over. They will keep driving, they will keep doing the right things. They've trained today, they'll be getting ready for the, obviously, the rematch, the return at the Etihad of Real Madrid and just take it as another positive, another day towards that title, that running, that race. And now it's Arsenal's turn, isn't it? So nothing's there at this moment in time, as you've just asked Clinton. Is it title over for Liverpool? Far from it. They've got a lot to contribute, difficult games all around, but... They will be feeling now, Liverpool, what is next? Why is this happening now? Yeah, and, and Clinton, we should just... I know you have praised Crystal Palace already, but th they were actually excellent. They were. The goal's fantastic. If Liverpool or Man City or Arsenal scored a goal, Palace scored, Eze scored. The one and two touches they played, neat one and two touch. They'll, everyone will be talking about it because it's Palace, probably not so much because they're not a fancy team, but the goal was fantastic. Elise does well. Mitchell picks out Eze and it's a great, um, a great little finish. And I've got to give full credit to... Um, Palace, they were outstanding. To a man, with the, the injuries that they've got, it was a big boost to have Elise back. But I think the injuries they've got in midfield and defensive areas, outstanding. And I know you're smiling, so I will praise you here, because I don't like to praise you, but Tom did predict Palace to win 1-0. So, go and do the lottery numbers this week, mate. He's, you... Honestly, how happy has he been? He's happy. Literally, in the, the last smug, 10 minutes of that smug, game, he even, smile. Called, he even called it in. He said, yeah, you know what? I'm said, sure I said 1-0. And, and, and it was still like still 10 long. minutes ago, so I, you must have known. I actually said 1-0, and it would be either Elise or Eze who scored, and Eze scored it. OK, well done, Tom. Wait, well done. Yeah, well First done. praise I'm going to give well you. Well done to me. Can you predict the next game? Credit to me. Can you predict the next game? Next game, Arsenal, Aston Villa. Have you forgot what that is? 1-0, but this time to Arsenal. Oh, yeah. Wow, Ooh, incredible. Okay. I mean, it looked like it was a real positive result for, for Palace, wasn't it? Do you yeah, know, definitely. and obviously the change, the way they've, they've played, has there been a big difference? And now just to take themselves out of that, of that bottom they're situation, safe now, they? now, yeah, they're, they're, now safe they're safe. Now. Yeah, so they're safe, yeah. they've done the job and now it's about that rebuilding for Palace. A lot next of those season. players know how to play yep. out without the ball and hopefully next season we'll see a different, different side of Palace, Palace yep. who are going to be a little bit better going forward because that's what the, the supporters want. We're going to go back to Clinton and Michael just to, to talk about Liverpool because Clinton, they've just been showing all of the chances that Liverpool had in the second half. <laughs> 
and we can't quite believe that they didn't take any of them. No, I can't believe it. To be fair, it's either good defending, good goalkeeper, or bad, bad misses. A bit <laughs> of everything? Them, a bit of everything. Yeah. I'd say a bit of everything without yeah. a shadow of doubt, a bit of everything. And they'll be frustrated, won't they, Mike Brownie, about all the chances that they've missed? Yeah, I think they will. I mean, that'll be the positives, won't it? Yeah. For yeah. Jurgen Klopp, say, well, on another day, we'd have scored six or seven. Definitely. Do you know, we, we could have put them away. The, 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 we've, we've seen as well, hasn't we, the chances and the conversion rate of Liverpool hasn't been what's expected. And yet again, it's happened. Nunes has been put under pressure. Mo Salah yeah. getting a couple of chances. Um, so that is a concern, isn't it? Chances have been created, but not converted yet again for Liverpool. Yeah, it, actually, it was they had six shots on target. Crystal Palace actually had five, because Liverpool were actually giving chances to Palace as well. In particular, in that first half, I think most of Palace's chances came in the first half. And I said Mateta had a golden opportunity and then had the big one in the second half, where it's an outstanding save at 1-0 one, <laughs> one from Alisson. I was like, <laughs> come on. Off the chair. I did nearly fall <laughs> off the chair. I thought he was going <laughs> to score, because he's like two yards up, but you've oh, got to give it. credit to Alisson. Amazing. It's a fantastic... Oh, yeah. Reaction save is unbelievable. Is an save. Save. It's an unbelievable save. But that's what I want to see more of Palace. I've heard about Glasner, the way he wants to play the style of football. And in the first half, I saw that and it really positive performance. I know we talk about Liverpool not getting the result because we have to, the title race. But I think I have to give full credit to Palace. Outstanding result. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the Liverpool. Uh, Pep will be buying so. Glasner a nice bottle of wine. Yeah, yeah, Wally, maybe. Wally. Yeah, so no, is, I, yeah, I told you, he doesn't, he doesn't do no, that. But it's just he a waves. thank you. It's, no, he's well, just saying he thank might, you. you know, at the end of the season, the he season, might actually yeah, say okay. thank you for that. I remember yeah, that yeah. day, that, that changed the outcome yeah. of the title. Arsenal have got a lot to say. Oh, yeah, Arsenal, Mikko Arteta, yeah. And Mikko, Liverpool, yeah, yeah. do yeah. not write them off. Yeah, don't write them off. It's, there's still They've a long way to go. resilience, Liverpool. Yeah, definitely. That Jurgen Klopp has. 100%. Do you write them off against Atalanta after that first leg? That's no, the next game. no, I don't. No, honestly, no you, you cannot. No because look how many chances they create. I mean, defensively, they've got to just sharpen up a little bit, haven't mm. they, as well? So we're going to say today, well, ultimately, they had all the chances didn't, didn't convert. But, you know, they also let Palace have a few too many opportunities. So that's something to think about all around. I think there's a couple of chains here or there. Trent Alexander-Arnold getting more minutes yeah. now. With all these players on the pitch, you do feel like if it clicks early in that game, they can convert. And that, that could be something that kickstarts them back for the remainder. Yeah, I think, I, I think they'll go through, Tom. I literally think if they score early, they could beat Atalanta. I'll, I'll say it here and now. You're looking <laughs> well, at me. What do you think? Because you're mean? getting everything right. I don't know about that one. You, what, you, you've I got to give me an answer. I, I think Atlanta are going to go through. OK, remember. I hope, I hope Liverpool go Clip that up, everyone. Clip yeah, that up. It's not always right. Yeah, I want the up. English clubs to go through. <laughs> Next Sunday, they've got Fulham away. And then a few days later, I, I still think that game away at Everton is, is a very tough one for, for Liverpool because Everton will be desperate for points themselves yeah. and they'll be desperate to not let Liverpool win the league. Let's not... No, it's a tough well. game, but I just think Liverpool are too strong for the way Everton are playing at the moment. And listen, it, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but I just think Liverpool will be um, too strong. But if Everton set up the way Palace do and make it hard to, to at, the, at the cottage as well. A, yeah, you know, Fulham, Fulham as home, well. Their, their yeah. home record, the way they've been performing, I thought they were excellent recently, like I said to you, against yeah. Spurs. Um, we've seen what they did to West Ham. Exactly. Um, so in, interesting games. I mean, Everton um, will play in a different style. They'll wait, they'll stay in, they'll go a little bit more direct, they'll spin. They'll turn you and there'll be a r the atmosphere. You can only imagine yeah. what that's going to be like. So this is the end of the season. We had, we had all of the, the fixes up before, didn't we? Started looking through them, started to say what, which ones will come and then Premier League surprise you and, you know, an hour later, that's what's just happened with Palace.